So I'm just going to come out and say it like it is. Briar, you are doing a really good job. And I don't think you guys have heard that enough as of recent. There's been a lot of stuff going on between Briar and Model Horse Collectors that has not been putting the Model Horse community in the brightest light. And a lot of this backlash has been going right on to Briar. And Briar is the company that supports this whole hobby. If we don't have Briar, we don't have model horses. When I'm having a bad day at work or I'm having a troubles in my personal life, I come to model horses and customizing to let go and to be happy and to find peace with myself. And I don't see the hobby as a negative atmosphere. 2020 kind of threw a wrench in everybody's plans. And Briar did make that executive decision to move Briarfest online. That was honestly the best decision that they could have made. I fully supported that decision. I was planning on going to Briarfest for the first time. It broke my heart, but I knew that the state of the world, it wasn't acceptable for us to join and gather for plastic horses. The world was much more important than plastic horses at that time. With like short term notice, like we found out in March, April, so they only had three months, two or three months to essentially move everything online. And so they did their very best to release all the information and make everything work so that we could still have a festival. And yet no one was happy. It was just like everything that Briar tried to do, everybody was like, <sighs> like everybody was on their case. And the same thing has happened here starting in 2021. And the start of the year was really rough. They released the celebration horse for 2021, which was supposed to be into it, the halter bred. Appaloosa stallion and the fans got so upset about this celebration horse Briar actually had to pull the model owners of the actual real-life horse did not want to be affiliated with model horse people because model horse people were so aggressive and so mean to this particular person that they felt threatened and worried for their animal worried for their like home for their lives Plastic horses, these are toy horses. These are people that like toy horses. And those toy horses have become so intense and they need to be so perfect that people are willing to jeopardize someone's well-being, someone's sanity, to use aggressive language, threats, to like, what even is this? Like, what is even happening? I'm gonna personally state that I also don't agree with halter bred horses. I didn't like the appearance of that particular horse. But I'm like not judging the entire halter breeding industry. Like with any discipline in real horse world, it's such a fine line. And that's my personal opinion. And I voiced that opinion vaguely on Instagram a little bit. And then I felt really guilty about it because I'm like, it shouldn't really matter what I think. <laughs> and I shouldn't sway my followers either way. That's my personal opinion. I would never sculpt a horse that looked like that. That's my personal opinion. But I would never ever take measures to personally track down the person that owned that horse, send him threats saying, how dare you make your model into a briar? How dare you be proud of this animal? How dare you have this animal, breed this animal, show this animal? These people are gonna do this whether we say so or not. I just don't feel like it's fair to attack people like that. I don't think it's fair to go after somebody so intensely because you don't believe the same thing as them. They had to release a statement saying, please do not harass the owners, please do not post negative comments, please do not take things so drastically and dramatically. Like the whole model horse community exploded for about two weeks. And then Briar released Fireheart, which is the new original sculpture by Raven Maddox. And then the community all of a sudden was like, oh my gosh, we love you Briar, you're amazing. It's either you're re they're really excited about it or they really, really despise it and they can't handle it and they need to attack online. <laughs> Briar has been revamping the whole virtual Briarfest experience this year and they've been trying to add new things and make things better than they did last year. And it's fair. There's things they know that they need to improve on. It didn't run as smoothly as it should have, but it ran and people got their horses and it was still fine. So these like really aggressive claims about Briar doing so badly and like making these horrible mistakes, at the end of the day, 
you're still getting your horses. You still have beautiful horses. They're still making beautiful horses. We don't like every release that Briar makes, but we shouldn't like attack them and say, what the heck were you thinking? Because somebody might like that horse somewhere. They're complaining about this other person's horse that they don't support now because this particular person supports something else. The horse is lovely. The horse is beautiful. Like, sure, maybe you don't want to be best friends with the horse's owner, but it's about the horse. It has nothing to do about your personal life, your personal beliefs. It has everything to do with the horse, the plastic horses, the real horse, the love of the horse, the art of the horse. That is why I am in this community, because I love horses. I love art with horses. I love collecting horses, looking at horses, admiring horses, being around horses. That's what Briar is all about. And the thing that I don't think people realize is that Briar doesn't have to do this. Briar doesn't have to be a company. They don't have to make toy horses. And if people are hostile enough, I think they eventually will cancel Briarfest. They'll stop making models. So the whole thing is that Briar should not have to keep releasing these statements about these things. This should not be a problem. I think that we can make suggestions and hold advice and say maybe we should do that differently the next year. But I don't believe that it is acceptable in any context to make aggressive claims, to make threats. It's getting really tiring. I don't like seeing that stuff. I, I am part of this community because I want the positivity. I want the love of the horse. I want the support of everyone. No matter your beliefs, where you come from, what kind of horses you, you like, <laughs> what kind of, you know, we're all in this thing together. And some of my greatest friends have come from this thing. Do we believe in the same things? No. Do we like the same breeds of horses? No. But we all like briars. We all like horses. And that's all that really should matter. And so Briar is doing a really good job right now, and if you guys all mess this up, I'm not going to have this channel, I'm not going to have a business, and we're not going to have model horses to collect. So I think you really need to dig deep if you are one of these people that is posting these threats, these uh, aggressive claims, and voicing your opinion really strongly on social media. I think you should really think about what you're doing. And you should think about the humanity behind the company that's doing everything for us. That these are real people behind the scenes. And they have feelings too. And everybody has feelings. And it's not fair for anyone to be so completely rude to these kind of people who are just trying their best. And they're just trying to share their love of the horse at the same time. I feel like Briar has been doing amazing, and despite all the circumstances, they are still hosting a Briar Fest, they are still releasing regular runs, they're still releasing Premier Club models, they're still doing everything for us. So really think about what you say online, really think about what this company is actually doing for us, and really just enjoy. Enjoy Briar, enjoy model horses, enjoy the artistry. We're here for horses, we're here for plastic horses, and that's all that really should matter. And we still have a briar fest, so we should be pretty damn grateful in that case. Uh, this has been DJB, uh, that's my little two cents on this whole thing. And I will continue to remain a positive platform, and I know there's a lot of people out there that roll this way as well, and there's a lot of positivity still out there. I think it's just a little hard when there's a lot of negativity going around to kind of see the positivity. And I hope that this like will pass and we can all get through this and get past this and we can all just be appreciative and supportive and excited and share our love of the horse with everybody else. So thank you so much for watching. This has been DJB.